Hello my dear students I hope you all are doing great my name is Biswajit I am your botany teacher today we are going to discuss a very very conceptual topic of the chapter photosynthesis in higher plants and the topic is calvin cycle the cycle which gives you glucose molecule we know photosynthesis is the process in which or by which the plants produce glucose molecules okay and the pr entire process of photosynthesis is is broadly classified into two phases one is light phase and second one is dark phase and in the dark phase glucose molecule is synthesized and in the dark phase various kinds of pathways are going to take place and the pathway the only pathway by which the glucose molecules are synthesized in the dark phase is calvin cycle so this is very important for your existence because without calvin cycle you are not going to get the glucose molecule from the plants okay so this is very very important so let me tell you something about the calvin cycle <coughs> calvin cycle first of all you should know here few points few points that the calvin cycle the first step of the calvin cycle or the first reaction of the calvin cycle was discovered by melvin calvin okay and so let me write that point the first step it was calvin it was calvin who discovered the first step of what calvin cycle and not only that he also helped the other scientist to find out the other reactions other steps which which take place during the calvin cycle and that is why this cyclic pathway is called as calvin cycle okay and uh, so he 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 was the first person to discover discover the first the first step of calvin cycle first step of calvin cycle okay and in his study in his study he used one organism and which organism did he use he used algae okay so let me write here the specimen See, so he actually performed experiment so he performed an experiment he performed an experiment okay and for his experiment he used he used some specimen so which specimen was used by him the specimen which was used by him the specimen which was used by him was actually an alga okay which algae he used he used chlorella he used chlorella apart from chlorella he also used syndesmus he also used syndesmus clear but remember the name chlorella this is very very important this is very very important okay and here you should also remember that in his experiment he used some chemical okay he used one chemical which chemical did he use he used carbon he used carbon and the he used the radioisotope radioisotope used by him so he used one radioisotope and which radioisotope did he use he used c14 radioactive c14 was used by him and he used a technique in his experiment so you should also know about the technique used by him and the technique used by him was auto radiography auto radiography and he was one of the first persons to use radioactive element for human benefit human welfare after second world war okay so this was little about the introduction okay and he found uh, and he found that the first the first stable product of the calvin cycle is a three carbon containing compound and that molecule is nothing but phosphoglyceric acid which one phosphoglyceric acid and before learning that we should know ab something about the enzymes and the co2 acceptor involved in the calvin cycle okay so let me write here about the co2 acceptor CO2 acceptor of what? Calvin cycle. So we are talking about everything with respect to what? Calvin cycle. So the CO2 acceptor in Calvin cycle is RUBP. Which one? RUBP. Ribulose 1,5 base phosphate. Which one? Ribulose 1,5 base phosphate. And this is 
a five carbon five carbon containing compound okay so this is five carbon containing compound okay and where do you find this you find this you find this in the stroma of the chloroplast so this is present in the stroma of chloroplast stroma of chloroplast so this is found in the stroma of chloroplast okay so this is the this is the co2 acceptor of what calvin cycle okay and in the in the process of calvin cycle one enz many enzymes are involved and most important enzyme is the rubiusco which one rubiusco so you should know about the rubiusco so what is rubiusco rubiusco is nothing but the carboxylating enzyme okay and what is the full form ru means ribulose bis means 15 bisphosphate c4 carboxylase o4 oxygenase okay so let me write the full form over here okay so this is ribulose 15 bisphosphate carboxylase oxygenase c4 carboxylase okay and o4 oxygenase okay and at what rate the calvin cycle will occur that is decided by the activity of the rubiusco and that is why we call this rubiusco as pacemaker enzyme i repeat at what rate the calvin cycle occurs that is decided by this enzyme and that is why we call this as pacemaker enzyme of what of calvin cycle of calvin cycle okay and this is a conjugated enzyme and because it is a conjugated enzyme that is why it requires cofactor and what is that cofactor the cofactor is magnesium which is required in the form of mg2 plus okay where do you find it you find it you find it in the stroma of chloroplast stroma of chloroplast in the stroma of chloroplast you find this one okay and this is a bifunctional enzyme this is a bifunctional enzyme okay so how many activities or functions will be performed by this rubisco two activities one is carboxylase activity second one is oxygenase activity okay so this is a bifunctional enzyme by functional enzyme so what are those activities one activity is carboxylase activity second one is oxygenase activity so when the rubisco enzyme performs carboxylase activity what will happen it will combine the rubp which is co2 acceptor with the co2 okay and as a result what will happen c3 cycle which is also known as calvin cycle occur what will happen calvin cycle will occur okay and if the rubisco enzyme performs uh, sorry shows oxygenase activity then what will happen it will combine rubp with the oxygen as a result what will happen the c2 cycle will take place which one c2 cycle will take place okay calvin cycle is also known as what c3 cycle why because its first stable product is three carbon containing compound so this is c the calvin cycle is known as c3 cycle so when rup gets bound with the o2 what happens c2 cycle takes place and c2 cycle is nothing but the photorespiration this is photorespiration okay so when this rubisco will combine co2 with the rup if if the condition or in if in the medium where this rubisco enzyme is present has higher co2 upon o2 ratio okay and if the co2 upon o2 ratio is less then what will happen then oxygen oxygenase activity will be shown okay and because this rubisco enzyme is binding with co2 as well as o2 that means i can say that this rubisco has affinity for co2 as well as o2 and if you pro if the rubisco is provided with both co2 and o2 in equal concentration then which one is going to bind it is the co2 why because this rubisco has higher affinity towards co2 as compared to o2 okay so let me write here that point this has this has higher affinity this enzyme has higher affinity for co2 than o2 than o2 clear so now let us try to understand the mechanism of what c3 cycle the entire mechanism of c3 cycle is broadly classified into three phases how many phases three phases okay so here we are going to talk about what mechanism of calvin cycle 
विच वन मेकेनिज्म ऑफ कैलविन साइकिल ओके सो द एंटायर प्रोसेस ऑफ कैलविन साइकिल इज ब्रॉडली क्लासिफाइड इन टू थ्री फेजेस हाउ मेनी फेजेस थ्री फेजेस द फर्स्ट फेज इज कॉल्ड एज वर्ड द फर्स्ट फेज इज कॉल्ड एज कार्बोक्सुलेशन फेज विच फेज कार्बोक्सुलेशन फेज एंड द सेकेंड फेज इज कॉल्ड एज रीज रिडक्शन फेज एंड द थर्ड फेज एंड इन दिस फेज द ग्लूकोज मॉलिक्यूल इज सिंथिसाइज ओके सेकेंड फेज इज रिडक्शन फेज एंड द थर्ड फेज विच इज quite crucial for continuity of the kelvin cycle without any interruption is regeneration and regeneration of what the co2 acceptor okay and that co2 acceptor is nothing but the rubp so these are the three phases of what kelvin cycle so what happens let me tell you and remember one thing carboxylase so the kelvin cycle occurs <coughs> in uh, or completes in these three phases so which one is the most crucial phase carboxylation phase this this is very very important so this is most crucial phase this is most crucial phase of what kelvin cycle and this region reduction phase is the phase in which so in which glucose is synthesized so i will say that phase where glucose is formed okay and if you want to continue the kelvin cycle without in interruption then this is important this phase is important so this is crucial this is crucial this is most crucial and this is simply crucial okay this is crucial for continuity of what c3 cycle without any interruption without any interruption okay and one very very important point you have to remember that regeneration of one rvp requires one atp okay so this is very important so i will write here regeneration of regeneration of what one rvp requires how many atp 1 atp 1 atp will be required how many atp 1 atp will be required okay so how this process exactly occurs let me explain you let me explain you. okay so here let me draw the kelvin cycle so suppose this is rubp ribulose 15 bisphosphate okay this is the co2 acceptor and how many carbons are there five carbons are there how many five carbons okay and we know in a glucose molecule how many carbon atoms are there six carbon atoms are there and that is why here we we will require six co2 how many six co2 and one molecule of rup binds with one molecule of co2 so for binding of six molecules of co2 we will require six molecules of rup so i can write here that we require six molecules of what rup okay and that six molecules of rup will combine with six molecules of co2 as a result what will happen we will get we will get this six co2 will combine with six molecules of rup and we will get 12 molecules of how many molecules we will get 12 molecules of phosphoglyceric acid which one phosphoglyceric acid and this phosphoglyceric acid has phosphate at the third carbon and that is why we call it as 3 phosphoglyceric acid okay how many carbons are there three carbons are there and this is the first stable product okay and because this cyclic process has has a three carbon containing first stable product that is why this cycle is called as kelvin cycle okay so here what is happening this molecule is combining with the co2 so that is why this reaction is called as carboxylation phase what do you call this phase you call this as carboxylation phase clear and which enzyme is going to participate here it is the rubiusco the rubiusco enzyme participates over here okay now what is going to happen so in the next phase in the next phase what is going to happen the reduction is going to take place and in the reduction phase we will require both atp and nadph which are produced in the light phase of photosynthesis okay and for and from one molecule of 3 pga we will get one molecule of 13 bisphosphoglyceric acid 
okay so here i will get 1 3 bisphosphoglyceric acid bisphosphoglyceric acid bisphosphoglyceric acid and how many how many how many 3 pg are there 12 so we will get actually 12 molecules of how many 12 molecules of 1 3 bisphosphoglyceric acid okay so you can clearly see here that that in 3 phosphoglyceric acid only one phosphate is there at the three number carbon but in 1 3 base phosphoglyceric acid we have we have two phosphates one at the one carbon and second at the three carbon third number carbon okay and that extra phosphate comes from the atp okay so uh, in other words i can say one molecule of atp gives one phosphate group to the three phosphoglyceric acid so that that will form the one three base phosphoglyceric acid how many AT, how many uh, 3 pg are there 12 so we will require 12 molecules of atp so what is going to happen here 12 molecules of atp will be used to form and that that will ultimately form 12 molecules of 1 3 base phosphoglyceric acid and that after donating the phosphate they will be converted into 12 molecules of adp okay so this is the first step of reduction phase in the next phase what is going to happen in the next in the next step not phase in the next step what is going to happen this 1 3 bisphosphoglyceric acid will be reduced to form 3 phosphoglyceraldehyde okay so this will form 3 phosphoglyceraldehyde 3 phosphoglyceraldehyde 3 pgl is 3 phosphoglyceraldehyde and we have one molecule of bisphosphoglyceric acid produces one molecule of 3 phosphoglyceraldehyde and here how many molecules do we have we have 12 molecules so we will get 12 molecules of 3 phosphoglyceraldehyde okay and what is happening here reduction is taking place and for reduction of 1 bpga 1 bpj we require 1 nadph and to reduce 12 molecules of bpj we will require 12 molecules of nadph okay so what will happen here so here 12 molecules of nadph will be used to reduce the 12 molecules of 1 3 base phosphoglyceric acid so after giving uh, after donating the hydrogen they will be converted into 12 nadp plus okay so this is this one is called as this this one is called as this one is called as carboxylation phase okay and these two reactions they come under reduction phase okay and remember one thing that here how many carbons are there here three carbon is there and here also three carbon is present and here also three carbons are present so at the end of the reduction phase what is happening we are we are getting these 12 molecules of 3 phosphoglyceraldehyde okay so out of these 12 molecules of 3 phosphoglyceraldehyde i can i can uh, uh, what happens i can divide this 12 molecules of 3 phosphoglyceraldehyde into two parts okay so here i'm going to take here i'm going to take 10 molecules of 10 molecules of 3 phosphoglyceraldehyde and I'm also going to take two molecules of 3 phosphoglyceraldehyde. 3 phosphoglyceraldehyde. Okay. And from this 10 molecules of 3 phosphoglyceraldehyde, what will happen? So they have three carbons. Okay. So this 10 molecules of 3 phosphoglyceraldehyde, they will ultimately form. Sorry. They will ultimately form what? They will ultimately form six molecules of six molecules of ribulose 5 phosphate 6 molecules of ribulose 5 phosphate will be produced from 10 molecules of pgal okay and we know that this ribulose 5 phosphate has 5 carbon so you can see 10 into 3 that means 30 carbon 5 into 6 means 30 carbon and now this ribulose 5 phosphate will form the ribulose 1 5 base phosphate okay so here ribulose 1 5 base phosphate here only 5 phosphate that means one extra phosphate is present at the one carbon and that extra phosphate comes from the atp okay so to to re, to form six molecules of rup six atp will be required how many atp six atp will be, will be required okay and this phase this phase is called as regeneration phase okay so this is this is third phase and this is all this also comes under third phase okay so what about the formation of glucose molecule let me tell you so we have ultimately two molecules of what three phosphoglyceraldehyde and out of these two molecules of three phosphoglyceraldehyde what is going to happen so this can be written as this can be written as what three phosphoglyceraldehyde one molecule of three phosphoglyceraldehyde plus one molecule of three phosphoglyceraldehyde 
okay and out of this one molecule of 3 phosphoglyceraldehyde what is going to happen now now uh, one molecule of 3 phosphoglyceraldehyde will form one molecule of dihydroxyacetone phosphate okay so i can write here that 3 phosphoglyceraldehyde 3 phosphoglyceraldehyde plus dihydroxyacetone phosphate okay and these two molecules see this 3 phosphoglyceraldehyde has 3 carbon and dihydroxyacetone phosphate is also 3 carbon containing compound and now both of these they will combine together to form the glucose molecule they will form the glucose molecule okay so this this is what happens so the, this glucose molecule is formed in the second phase which is basically reduction phase okay so this is the entire process of what calvin cycle and how many how many co2 are incorporated six molecules of co2 okay how many rvp are used six molecules of rvp are used and this is basically the six turns of calvin cycle six turns or six rounds of calvin cycle so when so when six rounds or turns of calvin cycle takes place what happens we get one molecule of glucose molecule okay and remember one thing when the co2 is used to form the glucose molecule we say that the co2 is reduced and here you can see for reduction of six molecules of co2 how many atp do we require 12 atp in the second phase that is reduction phase and six atp in the regeneration phase okay and how many nadph are used 12 molecules of nadph in the reduction phase okay in the first phase that is in carboxylation phase we do not require any atp nor any nadph clear so let me write here the keys let me write the keys over here okay so one two and three right so here one means carboxylation phase carboxylation phase okay two means reduction phase two means reduction phase okay and three means regeneration phase regeneration phase okay so in C when there is one mo glucose molecule form is formed what is happening there is requirement of six turns or rounds of kelvin cycle there is requirement of six molecules of co2 okay and how many atp do we require 12 atp plus 6 atp 18 atp and how many nadph 12 nadph okay so in other words i can say formation of one glucose means six round six turns of kelvin cycle or reduction of six molecules of co2 which requires 18 atp plus 12 nadph so in other words so and that is why i can say one round of kelvin cycle will use what one co2 okay or i can say one co2 will be reduced or one co2 will be fixed okay for that how many atp i will require three atp i will, I will require and two nadph i will require okay that is what i am going to write here let me check the time first it is 23 minutes okay fine <coughs> so let me write that point here okay so uh, formation of uh, formation of what formation of one glucose molecule formation of one glucose molecule requires what it requires six turns of kelvin cycle six turns of c3 cycle okay and i will re i will say six co2 will be required which will be reduced so i will say reduction of six co2 reduction of six molecules of co2 okay and uh, what uh, uh, what happens it requires it requires what it requires 18 atp plus 12 nadph are required 18 atp and 12 nadph are required out of eight this 18 atp out of this 18 atp 12 atp are required in the reduction phase reduction phase okay and 6 atp are required in the regeneration phase where in the regeneration phase okay so this was little about the mechanism of kelvin cycle okay one more point let me tell you here 
सो द कैलविन साइकिल इज यूनिवर्सल इन ऑल फोटोसिंथिक प्लांट्स तो वट इज द साइट ऑफ कैलविन साइकिल लेट मी टेल यू ओके सो हियर आई एम गोइंग टू टेक द प्लांट्स ओके एंड लेट मी टेल यू द साइट ऑफ कैलविन साइकिल साइट ऑफ वट कैलविन साइकिल सो वी हैव बेसिकली थ्री काइंड ऑफ प्लांट्स वट आर दो वन प्लांट इज कॉल्ड एज सी थ्री प्लांट ओके सेकेंड प्लांट इज कॉल्ड एज वट सी फोर प्लांट एंड थर्ड प्लांट इज कॉल्ड एज कैम प्लांट क्रेसुलेसिन एसिड मेटाबोलिज्म प्लांट ओके सो इन केस ऑफ सी थ्री प्लांट वेर डज दिस कैलविन साइकिल टेक प्लेस इट इज द मिजोफिल सेल एंड इन द मिजोफिल सेल इट विल टेक प्लेस इन द क्लोरोप्लास्ट एंड इन साइड द क्लोरोप्लास्ट इट इज द स्ट्रोमा सो आई विल राइट इट इज द स्ट्रोमा ऑफ स्ट्रोमा ऑफ वट क्लोरोप्लास्ट of which cell of mesophyll cell of mesophyll cell okay and in chem plant also it takes place in the stroma of chloroplast of mesophyll cell but but if you talk about this c4 plants then it takes place in the stroma of chloroplast stroma of chloroplast but the cell is not mesophyll cell which cell the cell is bundle sheath cell where in the bundle sheath cell it takes place which one the calvin cycle takes place this is very very important clear so in c3 and chem plant the site of photosynthesis is uh, calvin cycle is mesophyll cell whereas in case of c4 plant it is the bundle sheath cell which one bundle sheath cell okay so let us solve some questions which will be helpful to you the carbon dioxide acceptor in the calvin cycle has, has how many carbons so you know what is that carbon dioxide acceptor the carbon dioxide acceptor is nothing but rupp and we know rupp has how many carbons we have we know the rupp has five carbons so the answer will be option 4 clear great <clears throat> next where does the calvin cycle takes place okay in mesophyll cell cytosol of all plants no it does not take place in the cytosol okay in it does not take place in the cytosol of all plants this is also this is incorrect in mesophyll cell stroma of all plants no in all plants it does not take place in the uh, mesophyll cell so this is also incorrect in mesophyll cell stroma of c3 plants okay yes in c3 in case of c3 plants it it takes place in the stroma of what mesophyll cell so this is true in bundle sheath cell stroma of all plants this is also incorrect so the answer is option 3 clear great next regeneration of one rupp requires how many atp it requires one atp how many atp one atp okay next which of the following step of calvin cycle is most crucial so we know we know very well that the calvin cycle the calvin cycle is divided into three phases for our understanding one is carboxylation second is reduction and third phase is your regeneration and out of these three phases which one is the most crucial one it is the carboxylation phase which one carboxylation phase which of the following is the cofactor for rubisco so what is the cofactor for rubisco it is the magnesium which one magnesium next which has 12 activity 12 activity Pepcase it has only one activity, phosphoenol pyruvate carboxylase. So it has only carboxylase activity. So it is unifunctional. Okay, phosphofructokinase it has only one activity. It has only kinase activity which will add the phosphate group. So this is also, you uh, uh, this has also uh, one activity. Rubiusco has two activities, carboxylase as well as oxygenase. So the answer is option three. Next. reduction of one molecule of pga requires what reduction of one molecule of pga requires one atp and one nadph you can see here you can see here you can see here that what is happening one 12 12 molecules of pga when they undergo reduction they will produce 12 molecules of bisphos uh, what 12 molecules of phosphoglyceraldehyde and that requires 12 molecules of atp and 12 molecules of nadph so for reduction of 12 molecules of pga we require 12 molecules of atp and 12 molecules of nadph and and that is why i can say re reduction of one molecule of pga will require one atp and one nadph right so that is why i can, I can say here
I can say here that reduction of what one molecule of PGA, how many one molecule of PGA will require one ATP and one NADPH. Okay, next, how many, uh, which of the following is crucial for continuity of Calvin cycle? Okay, without any interruption. So it is the regeneration of what RUBP. Okay, regeneration of RUBP because the RUBP is not formed continuously in the cell. Okay, and this is being used, and this is this gets used in the very first phase of the Calvin cycle. That is why, for continuity of the Calvin cycle, the RUBP must be regenerated. Okay, next, Calvin used uh, isotope of dash is in his experiment. So he used isotope of what carbon okay so it was c14 radioisotope c14 was used by him in his experiment next kelvin experimented on dash plant he experimented on chlorella okay and chlorella is an algae so the answer is algae okay so the plant was chlorella okay apart from chlorella he also used syndesmus and chlorella is an example of what algae okay Chlorella, syndesmus, these were used by him. Okay, and both of them, both of them, they are, they are algae. Both are algae. So the answer is algae. Okay, so this was about the Calvin cycle. Hope you have understood it and it was helpful to you. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.